back to True Blue. We now go to our panel of reporters for an update on their sports in the segment On the Clock. We start in studio with Jerem Jordan. Jerem? Let's start with men's basketball. Coming off the three-point win versus Utah, BYU is now 2-1 and one in conference play and a game and a half out of first place. This week, the Cougars can make up some ground with a Wednesday match versus conference leader San Diego State at 6 p.m. and Saturday against New Mexico at 4 o'clock. Both those games are at the Marriott Center, where BYU owns the nation's second longest winning streak at 40. Individually, Lee Kamard and Trent Playstead are the only teammates in conference to be in the top 10 in both scoring and rebounding. Kamard's also shooting 92% from the free throw line and has hit 19 in a row. For more on men's volleyball, we toss it out to Drew Dowling in the Fieldhouse. Thanks, Jerem. The men's volleyball team had a very successful weekend. Friday night, they beat IPFW three games to one, led by Ivan Perez, who's back from his stint with his national team. Then Saturday, they beat Lewis. After losing two of the first three games, they go, went on to win game four and game five to win three games to two. Then this past Monday night, they beat Loyola Chicago three games to one after dropping the first game. And then, of course, this weekend on BYU TV, uh, we've got them Friday night and Saturday night against Cal Baptist. Oh, and by the way, they're the number one team in the nation. So now for more on women's basketball, here's Tony. Thanks, Drew. The women's basketball team suffered a heartbreaking loss to Utah last Saturday. More than 6,000 fans showed up to see the game. Utah jumped out to an early 22 to nothing lead. Utah shot 50% from the field and out-rebounded the Cougs by six. They now go on the road to take on San Diego State and New Mexico. Remember, we will give you an, a campus-wide update each week, so tune in for our On the Clock segment.